ready for this. Season two of There Will Be Trivia Playoffs is off to an epic start after what you just saw in Zach v. Luca, with Zach getting the upset over the number two seed Luca with answering his final question. So it has shown that anything can happen in this new format. And as you see, we have a beautiful face right next to me in Chris Skywalker Doman. And guess what? I am actually going to let him take charge for this one so we can get used to how we're doing the new league. So without further ado, Chris, floor is yours. Hello and welcome to There Will Be Trivia Season 2 Playoffs. This is going to be an incredible match. As you guys clearly saw in Zach v. Luca, it went back and forth, back and forth. It was crazy. It was awesome. And Henry, I have a very important question for you. Do you have a particular horse in today's race, or do you think this is just going to be a total craze fest? Honestly, I have no idea how this is going to go. These two have gone off head-to-head -head twice, and there will be trivia in the championship for uh, said trophy over here that I, I... Oh, here it is. Said trophy that is Jen's, and I still need to send to you in the mail. And that went down to the final question just because Jacob unfortunately mispronounced a word, and then Jacob beat Jen in the regular season in sudden death. So, honestly, this could go anywhere. But if I had to bet, I would have to, I will have to stick with my, uh, my fellow hateful great in Jen. Ah, playing, playing for the home team, and you know, and actually, and, and it's it's kind of funny you bring that up because yes, I am also playing for my fellow home team. However, it's for the reasons that you just said, because overall, who is who is who has had the better showing, and that being Jacob. Now, Grant, both these players are equally skilled. You know, one has one has gaps that the other one can fill up. I mean. Shit! If I wasn't already Jacob's teammate, he would all like th that would be a great team to to match up. But sadly, I swooped in there first. So, but I may be a little biased coming to this match. I'll admit. But that being said, you know what? Let's uh let's go, let's let's go talk to them right now. Jacob, my 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 team tournament uh, teammate, dude. How excited are you for this match? Uh, I'm excited. I'm nervous. Um, I just want to kind of get this one over and done with look jen uh this this should have been the playoff this should have been the final um it, it shouldn't have been a round one playoff match and it sucks that it is um but hey look this season has been a lot different than last season and i i i'm not expecting to go any further than today i'm expecting this to be my last match of this first round but We'll see what happens. Um, it will be great if I can win it, but Jen is such an incredible competitor, and I am, yeah, this is going to be a good match. Yeah, and as as someone who has who has fallen to Jen in what I do still feel should have been a closer match than it was, it was still a great match nonetheless. And Jen, I want to take this over to you now. You know, you and Jacob have had a very a very fun rivalry in this league. How excited are you going into today's match? I am excited to be facing off with Jacob once again. We're not going to rip each other apart. We both know that we're both top tier players. And I agree with him that uh, this is a round one match, but it feels like a final. Because honestly, either one of us, I feel, could could take this all the way to the top. So it'll be interesting. Uh, I think once again, it's going to go all the way down to the wire. Hopefully it won't be too controversial when we get to that final <laughs> question. But yeah, I'm excited to play and hopefully we can pull it out because I want to come back. Like I, I've had my loss now, so that streak pressure is off and now I just want to play. Here we go. Awesome. Glad to hear it. All right, Henry, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. But then, ladies and gentlemen, as I tend to say in another league, but I'm bringing that over here, as you all know, let's do this! Introducing first, with a record of 10 wins, one defeat. She is the number five seed in this bracket tournament. Give it up for the season one champion, the meme queen, Jen Kemp. And her opponent, with a record of eight wins, three defeats. He is the season two number four ranked seed and the former champion of WWMT. Now there will be trivia. Give it up for the Aussie, Jacob Blondin. All right. So 
round one is going to go like this. Each competitor will receive seven questions from seven predetermined categories. You will write your answer down on a whiteboard. You have 15 seconds to answer. When the time is up, you will show your answer to the camera and say it as you reveal it. So, Jacob, are you ready? I'm ready. Jen, are you ready? Ready. Henry, take it away with the first question, please. Whew, all righty. I'm excited for this. Under the category of fantasy slash adventure, lady and gentlemen, what legendary character has been portrayed by Nigel Terry, Graham Chapman, and Sean Connery? I'm not gonna lie, I didn't Can you repeat the names one more time? I think I missed the second one. All righty, we have, I'll just read them all. We have Nigel Terry, Graham Chapman, and Sean Connery. Okay, thank you. Connery. Did he sleep with your mother last night, Trebek? What character did I play? Not great. Not, a great not, one. not great. That's all right. <laughs> In two more. You tried. Four, three, two, one. Jacob, what you got? King Arthur. That's correct. Jen. King Arthur. That Ooh, is okay. correct. As we knew, it's uh, going to be a we, we are off to the races already. All right. Your second question in the category of drama. What actor starred in the in the 1980s films The Year of Living Dangerously and Tequila Sunrise? Speaking of tequila, where is it at? What was the year again, sir? Uh, it, it's just the decade of the 80s. Oh. Cool. Speaking of tequila, let's cover up the name because, you know, we don't have any... <laughs> Uh, don't want to get in trouble. Uh, trust me. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't mess with tequila. Um, nope, I just don't. That's just bad for you. In five, four, three, two, one. Jen, what you got? Uh, I've never seen either of these movies, so I'm just playing the odds with Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Good guess. Unfortunately, incorrect. Jacob. Never seen either of them. Never heard of either of them. Robert Redford. Again, not a bad guess. We were looking for uh, Martin Riggs himself, Mel Gibson. Oh. I actually think I guessed Kevin Bacon when I was tested on these questions. So, <laughs> great minds think alike. He's in everything. <laughs> Six degrees. All righty, under your third category of science fiction, name the 2014 found footage film about a group of kids that make contact with an alien spacecraft. God, this movie sucked. Hey! <laughs> Wow. Whoa, we have a defender in the house. Yeah. Is it Luke Cage Mister... or Daredevil? Yeah, it's 2014. I just hate because a lot of them come out in January, so they sometimes are like 2013, and I hate that, but this one didn't, so. This... Well, you like release dates, so you let us know. Right? Yeah. Five. In five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. All right, Jacob, what you got? Earth to Echo. That's correct. Jen, what you got? Yeah, I couldn't think of the name. I just remembered the robot. It's a chronicle. Hey, great film. Much better than that other one. It, yeah, that's why I was like, no. It reminds sorry. me of E.T. <laughs> and I love E.T. And uh, I'm just, uh, I, it just reminded me of E.T. And I really, really, really loved it. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Fourth question in the category of movie release dates. X-Men The Last Stand and Saw 3 were released in which year? No hesitation from Jacob. I love it. <laughs> and we all know Jen is proficient in this category, so. <laughs> Can she count the amount of championships the Patriots have? And tell us the year. Ooh, that's impressive. No. <laughs> Five, four. Not just three, because it's movies. Two, one. Jen, what you got? I said 2003. Ooh, sorry. Jacob, uh, yeah. yep, 2006. 2006. If, if I was asked for <laughs> okay. X2, X-Men United, yes, that would have been correct. All right, that gives Jacob a two-point lead. Three, two, one. Your next category is under directors. How many films did the legendary Stanley Kubik direct in the decade of the 1980s? Chris, I have actually become a very big Stanley Kubrick fan. Good. I, a lot of his movies, I don't understand some of them, but I think that's a good thing. He makes me think. Well, and that's that's kind of the point of it. I mean, 
shit, one, one of these films I consider to be one of his best, and I consider the, the main actor was his greatest performance of all time. Oh. His or one of the favorites, one of the greatest. Ooh, that, that's a conversation for another time. Five, four, three, two, two. one. Jen, you were uh, behind. Let's see what you got. Two. Oh, nice. Man. Two. Two. Oh. Wow. Awesome. Nicely done. Sixth question, penultimate. In the category of movie quotes. What Paul Rudd comedy has the line? Slapping the bass. Slap at the bass. Slap at the bass, man. That sounded incredibly racist. I apologize to uh, <laughs> everybody everywhere. I don't apologize to bass players, though, because half the time they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> Give me, give me your best James Brown impression. Oh, oh I feel good. You sound like a leprechaun. Why does everything I say sound like a leprechaun? Can you repeat the question? <laughs> yes. What Paul Rudd comedy has the line slapping the bass, slap at the bass, slap at the bass, man? Once again, racist. That's racist. Ding. Five. Four. four three. three. Two, one. All right, Jacob, what you got? It's wrong. Role models? Jen? I love you, man. I love you, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you really play it up there? No, just you play air, air up here. Never actually seen that. Wow. Um, it's, it's good for the rush scenes. That's about it. Whoa, oh my. Can, can we cancel this right now? Jesus, Jen, you win. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> Alrighty, but seriously, under our final category, under a uh, not favorite of mine or my team partner, Mike Hanley, animated. What animated film did Robin Williams provide his voice for immediately after Aladdin? And I don't mean the day after, I just mean this next um, animated film. You say, you say, it's, man, a you know it's, you, you, you say it's a weakness of yours, and I just don't get it, dude. You, get, you gotta appreciate more animated films. You just gotta watch them. Love them. As far as trivia, I, I, I just haven't seen them enough, and I didn't watch them as a kid. I was very deprived. Let's uh, move on before I start crying. Five, four, three, two, two and one. one. Jen, can you uh, tie it up before we I, see what you got? I think we're talking about Fern and Gully. That is correct. Okay. Bar. Jacob. I thought that was before it. I put robots. Whoa. Yeah, that was, that was my like other one, but that's the later, way. What the hell? Yeah. God. Wow, so uh, game. <laughs> four to four. Oh, good movie, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, four to four. Wow, this is definitely epic. Like, we already knew it would be. As we come into round two, and we'll go as such, each competitor will choose a number between one through ten, which pertains to either a certain movie category or their option of red or black. The competitor who is either in the lead or the favorite going in will select to bet on either red or black going into this round, which they will choose their first number. They can either hand it off to the next player, which then causes them to pick again if they if they so choose. They will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they're associated with. And once you have your number, you'll be given four questions worth two points apiece. Dull multiple choice is available for one point, and there is stealing in this round. Jacob, as the somehow favorite in this match, uh, please bet on either red or black. Red. Okay. Categories in this round are Harry Potter, Classics, Geek Squad, Best Picture Winners, Action, Taglines, Characters, and Comedy. Please choose a number between 1 through 10. Uh, seven. That's the category of comedy. Would you like to hand it off or go for something else? Uh, can you? Can I? I'll give that. I'll hand that one off. Ooh. Don't want her getting Harry Potter. Do not want her getting yeah. Harry Potter. Enough. All right. So then, then she, then yeah, then that automatically means she goes first. Yeah. Because yep. no. I can All be right. funny. I can do this. All right, with the he goes for the handoff. Interesting call. So, Henry, would you like to read general questions for comedy? Yeah, I would. It's a, 
I have a comedic touch to my myself and uh you know whatever <laughs> all right Jen don't forget multiple choice is available if you so desire your first question under the category of comedy name the pub the characters try to get in of Shaun of the Dead or Winchester it wow. is the Winchester we could always go One to the Winchester top five movies so well, you go to the Winchester have a pint wait for this whole thing to blow over you could always go to the Winchester all right your second question under comedy what is the occupation of Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character in 5050 I feel like I know it, but I feel like I'm gonna word it wrong. <laughs> now I'm a little worried about it, so we'll go multiple choice. Alrighty, we have A, weatherman, B, TV reporter, C, news writer, or D, radio journalist. Okay, I had it completely wrong because I was thinking a different movie. Can you repeat the, the options one more time? Alrighty, we have A, weatherman. B, TV reporter, C, news writer, or D, radio journalist. Five, four, I'm gonna go three. Radio journalist? Woo, very nice, correct. Okay. I was one thinking point. about 500 days of summer, so it's yeah, a it like... multiple choice. <laughs> oh, he's obviously an architect, so. He's <laughs> a genius. Uh, all right, your third question under comedies. What real-life comedian does Jim Carrey portray in Man on the Moon? Oh my god, what's his name? I love this movie. Oh my god, what's his name? He's asking you that. I know. I thought it was for Andy Kaufman. Oh! Woo! Two points. Okay. I, I got cow. stuck on Latka. <laughs> I was like, no, his real name. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to seem unfair and mention that they are making a Netflix. I didn't want to give you any clues, are they? but yeah, they're oh, making yeah. a Netflix okay. documentary on the making of this, and it's uh, supposedly looks interesting. All right, your final question to clean sweep and get a potential possible seven out of eight. What silent film legend has a cameo in 1963's "It's a Mad, 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 Mad World"? Maybe There's one. So many people in that movie. Okay. <laughs> um. Silent film legend. Yeah. Those many people you said. It's like 50 people in that movie. All right. I'm going to need multiple choice. All righty. We have A, Charlie Chaplin, B, Harold Lloyd, C, Buster Keaton, or D, Oliver Hardy. Tom's grandpa? I think it's Oliver Hardy. That is incorrect. Jacob. Damn it. See the chaplain or Keaton? Um, I'm gonna go Keaton. That and that is correct. Nicely. One point uh, steal. Holy cow! That could. Play. You have to go look up where that is because I don't remember. <laughs> as soon as, soon as, as they went, it's either, I was like, it's either chaplain or Keaton. They're the two that it could be. <laughs> like, technically, it could have been the other two, but. <laughs> technically. Uh, <laughs> it, it, they're the two. If, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna have a silent film legend in your film, they're the two you get. <laughs> true. Okay. Very true. And so now, Jacob, we come back to you, so... You only got one option, bro, so you better, you better choose carefully. Can I, have the category, can I have the categories <laughs> again, please? Of course. Of course. The main categories are action, best picture winners, Geek Squad, Classics, Harry Potter, Taglines, and Characters. Please choose a number between 1 through 10, and 7 is off the table. For now, until we use one. Gotta get two. Alright, I'll be reading your questions for movie characters. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Best of luck. Thanks. You shall need it. <laughs> Probably. Jeremy, somebody will be looking for you after this game. <laughs> yep. Sorry to throw you under the bus, Jeremy, but uh, you might have uh, someone who would like to make a complaint. Your first question <laughs> under the category of movie characters. What fantasy film has the characters Mad Mardigan, Morda, Aurora Dannon, and the High Aldwin? Multiple choice. All right. Options are A, 
Willow. B. The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. C. Dragon Slayer. D. Dragon Heart. Willow. That's correct for one point. Nice and done. Nine to six. Say, Come on, Jen, Morgan. Jen, you were chopping at the bit. You I mean, well, to be fair, you know, it was nice. 19- Out of the gate, Mad Mardigan. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> to, be, to, to be fair, 1988 Val Kilmer was something to look at. Second question, Jacob. What animated film is the characters Margot, Edith, Agnes, and Mr. Perkins? Which one is it? Uh, d- um, just Despicable Me. That's correct. I didn't know which one it was because well, there's three yeah, of them. Well, so yeah, like going, well, yeah, but I, 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 I just doing? named all three of the kids, so. Yeah. But t- where's t- Mr. T- Perkins? T- you know, no, Mr. Perkins, Mr. Perkins is uh, only in the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's kind of where I was like, shit, which one's easy? Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine if the multiple choice were Despicable Me 1? Despicable Me <laughs> I would have killed him. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. would have killed him. <laughs> Don't worry, they, they, they weren't, they weren't. Nine to eight. Nine to eight, for a potential lead. What teen comedy has the characters Cher, Dion, Josh, and Ty? Characters fan over there. Apparently. <laughs> Just, you are a character, doesn't mean you have character. Yeah, look, I'm not good with characters and I'm not good with teen films, so. Can you repeat the question? Okay. What teen comedy has the characters Cher, Dion, or Dia, well, yeah, I think it's pretty just Dion, pretty just Dion <laughs> Josh, and Ty? Uh, Five. Multiple books. All right. Option A Heathers. B, Clueless. C, Bring It On. D, Mean Girls. And thank you. Go, go with my guess. Ah, uh, Clueless. That is correct. Tie game. Nicely done. Right, I was thinking. Mind. I was in top of I'm going sixteen candles. No. For a second, Jacob seemed clueless. Did it? Find up. Nice try. Okay. <laughs> Final question: The category of movie characters. What horror film? has the characters Paxton, Josh, Natalia, and Svetlana. That was a good pronunciation. A lot better than Dion. Multiple choice. All right. Option A, The Green Inferno. B, Wrong Turn. C, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. D, Hostel. Mm, Hostel. He picked the one good movie out of that bunch. Hostel. For the lead. Well, with the German name. <laughs> well, to be fair, as you know, as, as someone who tries to actually learn, you know, European pronunciations, yeah, it just makes sense. I would be able to nail that. Oh. As we come into round three with the score ten to nine, Jacob has a one point lead. Here's how round three works. The competitor was either in the lead or the favorite. We'll choose three numbers from one to six. Each of those numbers will pertain to I will pertain to a two-point question based on clues from IMDB, a three-point question based on different clues from IMDB, and a five-point question, which allows you to pick two clues from IMDB for a movie. You are to guess the name of the movie from the clues provided. So. Jacob, as you are in the lead, I'm asking you to please choose either movie number one or movie number two. Two. I'm asking you to please choose either movie number three or movie number four. Three. And one more. I'm asking you to pick either movie number five or movie number six. Six. All right. Two, three, and six, which means, Jen, you have one, four, and five. We will start with you, Henry. Please get 
give Jen her two point question. All right, Jen. Your year is 1989. Your genres are drama, fantasy, and sport. And your lead actor is Kevin Costner. <sighs> Fuck <Killed the dreams>. <laughs> you. <laughs> that, that, that hurt for Jacob. That is one of his favorite movies of all time. <laughs> I own it, you but I have yet it. to see it. Fuck you, see it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Jacob, to take the lead back from Jen. Your year is 1975. Your genres, biography, crime, and drama. And your main star is Al Pacino. Dog Day Afternoon. That's great. Two points. Nicely done. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Let's see if Jen can keep this up. Back over to Jen. Your three point set of clues. Your year is 2010. Your director is Dennis Dugan. And your three plot keywords are camp, friends, and funeral. <laughs> ah! Oh man, I wish I you could picked steal. Them. You picked them. <laughs> I, no, I don't get any other options, right? That is just, all. I either know it or I don't. Yeah. All right, can you repeat it one more time? All right, your year is 2010. Your director, Dennis Dugan. And your three plot keywords are camp, friends, and funeral. I think I know what it is, and I hope it's, I kind of hope it's wrong. Um, <laughs> is, it, might... is it, is it, is it grown-ups? For three <laughs> points! Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is it with me in the wrong. Adam Sandler movies? <laughs> Hey, well, I remember, remember, remember Henry, Henry, Henry doesn't have taste, so oh. to be fair, to be fair, I, I, I thought the same thing when I was testing this question, so don't feel bad, Jen. <laughs> I just right. knew it because well, I was like, Dennis Dugan is an Adam Sandler movie. One, so, yeah, I, I, I have no idea who that is, so I was like, whatever. <laughs> I had to know who directed those god-awful pieces of shit. I had to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jacob, to take the lead once again. Your year is 1985. Your director, Peter Weir. And your three plot keywords are Amish, Train Station, and Undercover. Witness. For three points! Oh, oh Jesus. Shoot. <sighs> All right. This is. The... Jen has to hit this to send it back to Jacob, otherwise, he wins. All right, Jen, your five-pointer to not lose. Your year is 2000, and I need you to choose two of the four possible clues, which include main star, director, three plot keywords, and genres. I'm gonna go with three plot keywords and actor. All righty. Your star of the movie is Gael Garcia Bernal, and your three plot keywords are car accident, strangers, and dog fighting. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna feel bad because I like I kind of know what the movie is, but now I'm, I haven't seen it. I know I haven't seen it, so now I'm gonna get the name wrong. This is for the game, so make sure you give us all you got. I'll give you a five count. Five, four. I'm gonna go. Three. Amores Peros. Five <laughs> points. Okay. <laughs> if you would have been director, you would have got Alejandro <laughs> Gonzalez in your read. That wouldn't have helped me at all. So. <laughs> wow. Like I, the, I, 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 it's like I know that actor for this kind of movie, but I, I always confuse that with something else. The now so. on. Jacob, who has to respond. Okay, you were here. It's 1988. Please choose. Would you like either the actor, director, genres, or plot keywords? Director and plot keyword. Okay. Your director. Oh, sorry, your year is 1988. Your 
director is Buddy Van Horn. And your three plot keywords are betting, celebrities, detective. The question. Okay. Your year is 1988. Your director, Buddy Van Horn. And your three plot keywords are betting, betting, sorry, celebrities, and detective. Opportunity to defend her title in a sense. Wow. Unfortunately, that didn't go as planned. And I honestly, I am personally at a loss for words. So we just need to just straight up jump to post talk. Let's 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 talk to Jen first and give Jacob a chance to uh, recuperate. Wow. Jensifer, the meme queen, and Morton Jen, whatever we want to call you. Uh, Let's just, what do you, how do you feel? That, I, I, I don't even have a question for this. Just how do you feel right now? I, I, <laughs> I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> I have a lot of feelings right now. It's whenever me and Jacob play, we always go down to the very last question and it's always like right down to the wire. So it, it, it hurts to see that keep happening because, well, it's it's because we're both, we're very evenly matched. We're both really good players. I feel like I should have been doing better uh, in the whiteboard round, which is usually where I pick up some speed, and I fell behind there, so that was pretty bad. But, yeah, um, <laughs> this I, I was treating this kind of like a championship match, even though it's the first like round. It. So this is like a huge sigh of relief going uh, further into the tournament. So just just send me my trophy nut. Send me two. Send me two at a time. There you go. <laughs> well, I have a question for you. So like you said, um, you you have these close games with Jacob. Do you feel like you're technically your two losses against him are based on quote unquote technicalities because he mispronounced a word the first time and he ran out of time the second time? Do you feel like these loss these wins are cheap or do you feel like they're strongly earned and unfortunately he just screwed the pooch? I I wouldn't call them cheap. I wouldn't call them yeah. It's it's just obviously we both played really good games until that final question it seems to be so like honestly i it could have gone either way so yeah like you i know people are gonna say it's technicalities and everything and whatever but like obviously i've proven that i know how to play and everything so it's not like i'm cheating my way to the top it's just <laughs> exactly. that's how these things go i don't know so. well you don't have any any easy roads ahead of you because you're gonna have the winner of chance versus greg and yeah. greg himself <laughs> is a tough opponent and if somehow chance upsets greg then that'll just show that he is tough as well who would you rather see and who do you feel more you know evenly match or who do you, who's the best matchup for you as far as a win goes um honestly both these are the other two competitors in the tournament that i was worried about so when i realized that if i did beat jacob here i'd be going up against one of them i was like well shit okay so uh yeah because i i've obviously i've seen chance in in, in here and I've like I was first aware of him from the uh, fan reaction league kind of thing and he's yeah. really good over there uh, and then I went up against Greg uh, in so many trivia things now uh, full metal trivia and if you it. saw that match yeah. but we went uh, head to head in full metal trivia if you've seen that match it was like a tiebreaker going forward like all the way and he actually won that one so that would be troubling to have to go up against him again i feel like i probably have a better chance against chance uh so but it could go either way so do you yeah. kind of feel like you're playing back-to-back -back championship games if you do face greg next yeah i do and do you, do you feel like if you um overcome greg that the champ the you know the oscar is yours pretty much at that point that's what it feels like right now yeah <laughs> like not to not to belittle the other side of the bracket but this this 
to me when I first saw the lineup, I was like, okay, I got a lot of catching up to do. And that's partly my fault because I did not do, uh, <laughs> score wise, I did not do as well as I should have probably yeah. coming into the tournament. So, all right. One last question for you. This, this was your first approach in the new format. What did you think? And are you ready for this new league that's coming up? I like it. I, we still have our whiteboards and that's one of my strongest, uh, <laughs> things. And, uh, I would like to like be able to pick my second round. I don't, I feel like I haven't picked ever. <laughs> I keep getting things forced upon me. So, but yeah, I, I like the new format, the IMDb round. Uh, I think it's really interesting and it leaves it down to you guys to decide how you want to deal with it. So that's a relief for me who uh, doesn't really care about directors that much. So, <laughs> so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how people play that round. So, yeah. Until we get that, we like we we're finishing up season two of the playoffs. So thank you and congratulations, Jen. And let's go talk to our unfortunate loser in Jacob. All right, buddy, you you came out the gate swinging. We already knew that this was going to be an epic battle. You and Jen have yet in your three games to go any earlier from the final question. Obviously, we know that you technically lost your both losses to Jen, but how do you, how do you feel? Like do you you know, obviously, there's a lot of respect for her, but just overall, this what are oh, your feelings, man? Definitely. And look, like she 100% deserves that. I didn't get it quick enough, and that's the rule, and that's and it's well deserved, and it's important. Like, like yeah, I I'm not taking anything away from Jen. It is 100% she deserved that win and i i there are questions earlier in the match that i should have known i should have i should have had to go to multiple choice for every single question in round two that i did um i shouldn't have gone director for 1988 that was stupid should have gone actor in 1988 i know directors like onwards i don't know directors earlier so that was that was stupid but nah it is what it is um hopefully I can come back um, later in the season and the team tournament, like Chris said, is something I'm really looking forward to. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it sucks, but it is what it is. It happens. Um, I'm glad that I'm still able to show, no, I, I can still do this. Like I went up against the, the my four losses now, two against are against Jen in what has been in, la, in last round matches. Like to think that I've, you know, been able to show I am up there. I am, I, I, if there is a Mount Rushmore and online movie, movie trivia nerds, I believe I have earned my right to be on there. Yeah. But look, today sucked. Today's a hard day. Um, it is what it is. I'll be back. I'll be better than ever. And we already have a plan for the singles league because we are going to need to find a new champion because unfortunately for you you are going to lose your belt and unfortunately for jen her oscar is not going to be able to carry over so we are going to find need to find a universal champ and spoiler alert you are going to be in contention for that so congratulations on that and i can't wait to see any more of you and <sighs> the deadpool wow that was that that was tough that was so tough but and his thing, Jacob knew it. He couldn't pull through for me. But, yeah. but to be fair, to be fair, this was still an incredible match. Back and forth, back and forth. One point difference going into round three. Henry, final thoughts as we wrap this up. Honestly, as a huge sports fan, this was amazing to see because the buzzer beaters are just beautiful. And unfortunately, if you check the replay, he didn't get the shot off in time. And like you said, it's unfortunate that he did get it, but the pressure of Jen being an incredible opponent and that just shows how skillfully she is and how terrifying in a sense that it put that pressure on Jacob that he wasn't able to pull it because like you said he knew it he just wasn't able to spit it out in time and that is unfortunate but sometimes that's how the game goes we give you a five count for a reason and finally it really came to play so I am at a loss for words but congratulations to my season one champ and uh but good luck on making it further yeah man and you know, and to be fair, to be fair, I know that going into the the next the next official step for the LB trivia, Jacob has a lot that he was gonna want to prove. And the sad thing is, I just feel bad for whoever his first opponent is. I just feel so bad because he's gonna come in hot. He's gonna come in swinging for the fences, and 
if, it, if, if again, if, and if, and this is his level of gameplay. He is this quality each time. So if this is what we keep getting from him, uh, I am scared for whoever is coming next, for whoever's in his way next. So just best of luck. And of course, when the team tournament starts, he and I are gonna wreck shop because I've seen this man get pissed, and I have seen him be so determined. I am the same exact way, and so just. I'm just worried and I'm nervous and I'm excited, but for my co-host, Henry the Punisher Sanchez, I'm Chris Skywalker Doman. Thank you for joining us on this episode of There'll Be Trivia. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.